A lot of people ask me what the cheapest way into Eurorack modular synths would be. Generally speaking, you will need to make a rather serious investment in any case. However, there is something which I keep recommending a lot. Buy a semi-modular synth plus a Eurorack case and one or two modules to expand the semi-modular with. Then keep adding modules until you have a standalone Eurorack system. As a semi-modular, I like the Arturia Microbrute because it is very affordable, has a Eurorack compatible patch bay a CV gate keyboard and a great internal step sequencer. Another slightly more expensive alternative would be the Döpfer Dark Energy. After you got a semi-modular synth, you should get a 6U Eurorack case, so that you have enough room to expand later on. The cheapest case would be a DIY case with a Döpfer DIY kit, which comes with a big enough power supply, bus boards and mounting rails. With that done, here are some modules that would work well with a semi-modular synth. A VCO module. This will give your semi-modular a detunable oscillator or a modulation source for FM sounds or other wild stuff. An LFO module. You can never have enough LFOs for low frequency modulation of filter cutoffs, pulse widths, etc. An effect module. Eurorack effects often give you CV control over their parameters, which makes them more interesting than non-modular effects. You could add a voltage controlled delay effect, a voltage controlled bit crusher or a fuzz, to add more depth to your semi-modular sound. Of course, there are lots of modules out there. What I often find most useful is to not overthink stuff. If you see a module that you find interesting and that you can afford, just give it a try and see if you like it. You can always sell it again at a little loss, if any at all. By now you should already have a Muffwiggler account, so keep an eye on the For Sale and Trade subforum, which is a great place to buy used modules. In addition to the before mentioned modules, you should also consider getting some cheap utilities, like multiples, attenuators and a mixer. If you know how to solder, these things are really easy to make yourself. Check out the Derp for DIY website for some simple circuit diagrams. Conclusion Get a semi-modular synth with Eurorack compatible CV inputs and outputs. Get or build a large enough Eurorack case. Get a VCO, LFO or effect module to expand your semi-modular with. Get or build some utilities like multiples, attenuators and a mixer. Check the used module market for great deals. And of course, don't forget the patch cables.